Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. Here we are, this is Experience Points, back with our Yet's Play for Stalingrad campaign as we see the Soviets continue their brilliant victory in repelling the Axis. We're just going to go into our next level, which is Aurel Broninsky. Mm, close enough. And let's just have a look at this one. So, going back to the start. Just gonna pause it up. Just gonna point out a few very important things in here. Um, the supply points, there is only one for the Axis, and if you can cut off down here, bring your forces through here and down here, you will cut them off. Um, the Soviets have supplies along the road. Um, over here, unfortunately, isn't very good. I don't know why this was done, but you can't obviously um, extend the trade with the. Um, the road going off the map, which doesn't make much sense. Um, the Axis do have superior troops, as you see, 4-3, attack and defense, to the Soviets 2-2, so this is very much a case of um, just making sure that you attack precisely and with intention. So here we see our armor coming in. Just trying to bridge down. It's very important that you do keep your lines solid because the Soviets, um, if they do get breached, will actually have the Axis take these points and then once one of those are gone, you are in deep doo-doo. Uh, I am taking my armor up north um, to try to find ground here as well. Uh, these armor units aren't fully um, supplied. As you can see, um, here the first unit to attack should be your um, experienced uh, Specialist Steps T-34s. This should at least, you only lose two units um, or two parts of supply, but you will be out of them with your other Specialist Step T-34s, be able to attack and bring it down. And you're just making sure that we can kill it because these tanks are going to be the biggest annoyance. Bringing up an next specialist step was worth it. Now we just try to take it. Attacking with our biggest hitters. And here we go, almost got him. Fortunately, I don't think I'll be able to kill him in that turn. I'm making sure that you bring. Um, these units in because they are slightly better with the 4-4 specialist step um, and also making sure you keep doubles because any of these recon units and motorized units will just break through and head straight down here it's happened so many times okay just providing artillery to some of the better units just making sure we have two lines Protection where we can, and watch, and just reinforcing our units up here, extending our range down here, and trying to cut off their single supply. Um, as you see, these units over here are out of supply and will eventually come down, but they are weak to begin with. And if we can straw them off by using a partisan ability here, that's all the better for us. Yeah, as you see, they are pinpointing here and trying to go in for um, the supply. So we have to be careful with that. Uh, they've given up, so they're obviously pushing up north to try to defend um, their line. This operation here is very much a encirclement um, and starve. We don't have the strength of numbers to be able to attack and to overcome. So. I found most of the Soviet strategy, strategies are just to try to grab the Axis supply sources and starve them out. As we see, we just take the tank, force ourselves down even more so we can try to cut off and circle even more units. The tank from the north, just trying to clear up these units. Being very careful about moving these guys up because if the armor gets in, they will take the point, and then once your supply source is gone, you need to start again. 
putting up a bit of a fight there. Okay, that's good, and we can't get through. We got the uh, forest on it. So now we just try to get our stab at trying to get the tank out of the game. It is expensive, but it is highly worth it. Okay, now he should be good to be destroyed. Bravo! Just trying to um, reorder some of my units that are too weak to fight. Trying to bring our horsemen up, pushing through as hard as we can to take their support step. Okay, so it's circumference going well, and our armor is yet to be brought in. Just hoping to uh, try to free up some of the units, extending my range in the south. Here we go, another one bites the dust. Tanks come in, and you will notice they are in supply. It uh, was very important to keep them in supply, so if we don't push too hard now, because they won't be able to be resupplied, you have to pull them back. Oh no, here come the Axis. See? It happens every time. Tanks cleared up my partisan ability. Here we go. Infantry is trying to use their breakthrough. Not too much to worry about. Again, just trying to keep partisan this um, this supply source, and we've got it. Isn't point important to note at this point that with this captured. The next turn they will be supplied but still able to attack. After that they then will then be fully out of supply and then on the third out of supply um, turn that each unit is involved in they will be completely drained of their um, or completely suppressed and any unit can destroy them. So we just put an extra supply down here. I'm trying to stay in supply still and just slowly moving forward. Here we go, we've fully encircled these units. But they were cut off here anyway. All in a day's work for the Soviet. I'm moving my armor up to try to take this back, otherwise I will be out of the prior with these units. And it will be game over. Let's keep pushing up, keeping that line happening. Order that unit. Uh, that was expensive, but necessary because he will just continue to be out of supply because he can't resupply. He can't go to full supply steps. One will always be suppressed until he reconnects, which is impossible because I've captured it, which is great news for me. That was a nice retreat, kind of gaining a little bit of ground. Okay, as you see. He goes up to try to respond, but my unit is fully supplied, and he can't, if he doesn't attack this turn, then it's good night for him. As you see, these have been out of supply three turns, and they are completely vulnerable. So this is going well. We uh, destroy that unit and take back our supply, so we're all back into where it's good. That was a bit of a funny glitch. I'm just trying to close the gap. Resupply my unit. Bring more into the battle. Let's just have a look. So, our supply line is relatively decent. My army units can use, or move, sorry, seven units. So, it looks like we're going well. Yep, we can push through. You'll notice that they can attack the next turn, but the artillery will not be available, or it shouldn't be. Okay, bit of a cleanup. 
operation, not too much to worry about. We can afford to do this because it's only turn 4 and we still have two more turns to take these objectives and one more for up here. Given they're out of supply in the next turn, they'll not be able to attack. That'll be turn 5, that'll be completely gone by turn 6, which means this is all but done. The secret was getting a unit to capture their supply source. And just use our partisan ability. Restock the best unit. Now, because he didn't attack previous turn, they are completely gone. No unit of theirs can attack. This is just victory for me. If I don't kill this unit though, these units are going to be out of supply and they won't be able to attack. So this is a dangerous situation right here. And this is where the challenge comes in of being able to actually get in with the units and supply. So I'm trying to push everything down at the same time. So these are all going to be out of supply, but hopefully he can get here and attack and kill this. So these are only going to be able to be used to be moved. Bringing down our next armor. Not too bad. Increasing our supply route. And here goes the slaughter. Again, we have the whole next turn that we can attack, so we can just take out these guys on the, uh, the border lines, so that we can pair to weaken. Nothing really to worry about. Next turn, they'll be completely empty of supply, completely suppressed. Okay, here we go. See, out of supply, unfortunately, but, oh, so close, but we brought our infantry up. No worries, and that's the, always the hardest objective to get. Now we just work over this guy who retreated, but we had the numbers. Same deal here. Basically keep hitting him till he's dead. And, oh, one off, hey? Well, there's nothing better than a brilliant victory, so... I brought this infantry out, but even if he came back here, it's no point. I've won this. So that may not be... I've been the best move. But you're playing to get the objective in a certain amount of time, not as if the war is still going. And this is just a clean up, because it's always fun. Looks like unfortunately this unit can't attack because it uses its supply. It uses its uh, attack move by going a greater distance. Resupplying doesn't really matter. Really, we're just adding insult to injury here. It's kind of like choose your death. Kitchen. And yes, just showing off. Why not? The infantry read the glorious victory of the motherland. And that's how it's done. All objectives taken on time. You keep supplying here, you push your armor through. I did push the one tank north, which should help, and even though my lines were broken, I could recover from that. Um, it's important to keep your tanks in supply as long as you can, but keeping pushing them forward. And then just starve them out, get something over into their supply point, capture it, starve them out. Well, this has been Experience Points, and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Cheers, mate, as we say in Australia.